Red light flashing. Yeah. Racing. Valor Road missed the kick. One of the last to get going. And Mervyn absolutely flew the gates to land in front and land there clearly from undisclosed. And Diadella Raza as a party is pushing Valor Road along now. And he strides to third from Hoboken. Moulton back off the speed as well. And so's Captain Sterling. So they're humming. Further back in the field. Then when they get going is Seeker. Second from last. And the tail end of my Demi. But Mervyn had them running. 500 left to go and the goalfields Grey Mervyn by two and a half lengths undisclosed a further two Valor Road Hoboken Dia Della Raza Moulton going up in between horses followed then by Captain Sterling they're homeward bound at the 250 and Mervyn's well clear it's Mervyn three in front from Valor Road running on strongly down the outside the leaders off his feet here's Valor Road and Hoboken Mervyn's gone tackled by Valor Road mighty win and Valor Road goes home to score a brilliant victory by the three-year-old from Mervyn Hoboken, my Demi. And then Captain Sterling and Moulton, Dia Della Raza, undisclosed, got tired chasing Mervyn and cut right up to beat one home, and that is Seeker. Fabulous performance here by Valor Road. Wins his first race since as a two-year-old in the Karakata Plate. Walked out of the gates, and they flew... Time for the event will be very, very interesting because Mervyn really had the skates on. Led them for a long way, but he looked a shot duck at the 150 and it was Valerode that claimed him. Mervyn fights back to grab second in front of number eight, Hoboken, 178. And 11, my Demi runs on to grab fourth. Fabulous victory, though. He's a class act. Valor Road, a son of local sire Frost Giant out of Melba Avenue. For Des Carvel, B. McGugan, and also I. Devonish. And they raced the horse in partnership with Mr. C. Devlin, P. Conway, Ron Sayers, J. DeBusy, and Mrs. D. Williams, J. Vingerhout, and Mrs. S. J. Conway, trained by Simon Miller. Handled by Chloe as a party. It's a double for that combination today. They started on a great note with dance music. And uh, the afternoons got better. And as a party, certainly grasping these opportunities. So early on in her return to race riding after a, a long break from the saddle. And she's absolutely making the most of every single one of them. Second placing goes the way of Mervyn. Well, this has been a big run by the Kalgoorlie Speedster, by Henny Hughes out of Chancery Court. Jade McNaughton, Hoboken, third home by Statue of Liberty from Spectrum's image, Neville Parnham and Stephen Parnham. The time, 58.75. Home in 35.47. A length and a half, a long head, other margins. Let's go out to Brittany Taylor. She's with uh, Chloe Azapati, who chalks up her first Metropolitan Saturday double. She sure has. What a return to the saddle for Chloe as a party. It hasn't taken long at all. And already your first Saturday double. How exciting is this moment for you, Chloe? Oh boy, oh boy. I cannot explain how exciting this is right now. No, I'm just over the moon. Yeah, I sort of know once I got to about half out of the straight, he, he had, had the horse underneath me to go straight past and he gave it a all and he's pulled away. As you just saw then, I can barely pull him up now. So he's feeling great and I'm excited to see what this horse can do this prep. He's a big, strong boy, that's for sure, with an abundance of ability. Just talk us through the trial. It got everyone's tongues wagging, everyone saw it. You were aboard. When you came back from that trial, what did you have to say to Simon? Uh, I just said it's... A whole different feeling sitting on horses like this. Like, I was like, oh, God, it gives you some feelings, that horse. And, and he just knew it. And then, like, when he said, oh, I'll try to get you aboard, I was, I was gobsmacked. I was over the moon. And then to have him run like he did today is just outstanding. It was an awesome, awesome day. He wasn't the quickest out of the gates, but was it a blessing in disguise because you didn't get caught up in that speed battle? The leader seemed to be really skipping along. Yeah, I knew the 1,000 that there was probably no point of me. I knew they were going to be quick, and I know he does bounce out the gates. Sort of bounced a bit high, which sort of left him at half a length sort of behind. But um, he was happy to sit there, and I, he rolled into the race perfect. He wasn't overdoing himself. He was stretching out. He was breathing well, and then I knew at the top of the straight, all he had to do was just go past those couples. So he got the job done. He certainly did with plenty in the bank. Now, there'll be a big crowd waiting for you to come back because this uh, horse has quite an ownership base. Congratulations on the win. Thank you so much, Brittany. Thank you.
Bella Rhodes trainer Simon Miller joins me now. Simon, that was a good win. Yeah, it was really good. Proud of him. Proud of Chloe. Just, uh, we knew we'd find the front, or we thought we would, but I said if they want to go man, just take your time and let it unfold. And probably didn't break clean, which was unusual for him, and she didn't panic like she did yesterday on Soy Team. He's gone, what time? 58.75 for the 1,000. I'm happy with that. And obviously, there's a campaign in, in mind for Adelaide. Yeah, for sure. He'll go across Adelaide now and run on the Uclays in en route to the Goodwood. Uh, all going well. But I don't know if he's entirely comfortable out there. He's shifting around a bit, but I suppose his class got him over the line. It's not easy to do what he's doing. A two-year-old, he was our premier two-year-old. Then he raced in a Group 1 winner bottom stakes as a three-year-old. Um, has he improved? Yeah, for sure. I couldn't... Everything he's done this time in, there was no surprise when he went to the trials and did what he did because he, he's elevated himself that much behind the scenes. So I tested him at 1,000 because I've never put him in, in that. I think he's better at uh, six furlong, but, gee, um, he gunned him down. OK, so when do you make up that mine and when do you head over to Adelaide? Oh, middle of the next week, you'd probably head over. I'll just wait till Monday, just let the dust settle over the weekend and uh, enjoy enjoy the, the win for what it was. And... Um, Enjoy uh, my little niece coming out, Arky. She's uh, where is Arky? Because she's a big fan of Vela Road. Show him, show him Vela Road. There's Vela. She feeds him carrots. No, she feeds him carrots. Number one fan, so she's brought the whole family out. So um, there you go. Look, you, you give yourself a wave. And I think Olivia, your daughter's here for the first time as well. Yeah, uh, Arky dragged her out as well. So she's a very powerful little two-year-old. Okay, well done. Thanks, Gareth. And uh, just congrats to the owners too. Like we had a bit of a treacherous campaign last time in, and didn't know which way to go. And, and uh, they never lost faith, but they never got dirty. They didn't win a race either. So hats off to them. Well done. Thanks, Gareth. There's Simon Miller there, the trainer of Vela Road. It's great to see the good horses come back, and that's what Vela Road is. He was our champion two-year-old. He didn't have the best of luck during that three-year.